I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar Board of Directors, not Mom and Dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message. And who is listening to it. I think you know. Ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the Null Wave device prototype you can see. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. And the army key, I got pro- What? Morgan! fighting the black boxes and Dal wasn't here if you see him before I do make him pay Elazar out
It's more important than ever now that we finish this the right way. Take care of the null wave device. I'll head for the bridge as soon as I catch my breath. Good evening, Talos. We'd like to remind you that company policy requires you to log any voluntary extension of your work hours with the station counselor. We know the projects aboard Talos 1 are exciting. Minds need adequate rest. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Morgan, you anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds, history. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos One for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station, just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The Null Wave. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe, look at the alien outside the station. Of course. 
course it's a risk. But we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this. To murder a species. And the research. Lost. It's... January is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth. Even if one of them hit Earth's side. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option. Not the first.
part of the Carl is in psychotronics, in the original containment cylinder. Placing the null wave device there will override the entire Carl network with our own signal. Use your psychoscope to locate the exact spot. If the idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering. idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering.
another dose of Morgan Cellite. Do it. That should do it. Come to the bridge. We can finish this thing once and for all. Assume Alex's plan succeeds. Then what? You're taking a massive gamble that there aren't more predators like the Typhon. In the history of the universe, humans have only recently become self-aware. Yet you're going to kick the door open on a much wider and older cosmic ecology. One that feeds on consciousness. These are shark-infested waters. Alex believes we can be the I bigger shark. But what if we're just poor swimmers, and now there's blood in the water? Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Microgravity detected. Warning. Vital signs critical. Get in there! Yes. Morgan, Igwe, what's the update on our... Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I have informed him of the threat to the station and... Fine, Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. Too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Your lunatic plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future, Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you'll be destroying yourself. Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> A 
I'm sorry, Morgan. I didn't want to harm your brother. The directives you gave me require I do everything in my power to ensure you destroy Talos I and all the Typhon. Detonating the station safeguards the Earth and perhaps provides a small measure of reparation. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. If you want to activate the Null Wave, you'll have to kill me. That's it. What is a neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. More importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does every employee working together. It's immortality. And it is beautiful. Well, that's it, guys. Long time coming. I think there's another choice coming up I heard about that's pretty cool. But, yeah, I'm glad I beat this game now. It's been a while. It's definitely a good game. A little bit too much backtracking at the end for me, though. Lots of side plus. I suppose I didn't have to do them all, but I did. That nightmare creature there was cool. It's like a Marvel movie, you got the dude to the end. It's that little teaser scene. It's 
sitting here watching Aliens too. I've had a buddy over here, so that's why I'm not talking very much. So whoever's watching, if anybody does, thank you. Thanks for tuning in. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is okay, it was all simulation. And the shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming, and nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind, or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. But its most surprising act was sparing Da, while perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Kayla. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. 
Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was a man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. That's... Is the world today. You spend years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean really see us. Take my hand if you do. Kill <laughs> Shuttle. I've informed him of the threat to the... 